Hey, what's up, guys? This is the War Hulk video that a lot of you have been asking for. I put him up front so it's easier for you guys to see most of him, and uh, I just recorded a bunch of fights and collaborated them together. But I want you to judge him by his performance in these fights. These are just wins. I didn't record any losses, but do note that I did lose a lot, basically to anyone who was uh, fronting a Skina or had a Mascoa in their team somewhere. But uh, anyways, you can watch the fights, and I do have a couple things I want to talk about. A lot of people want to know why I quit Dark Summoner. Well, basically, Dark Summoner is a professionally made game. It's, it's a better game than Pocket Summoner. I'm not going to lie. That's unbiased. There's just way too much stuff to do, and it will consume you if you let it. So I, I took note of this, and I was like, dude, I have to quit this. So I sold everything on my account, except for my demon team, which is just chilling there. But uh, I did quadruple my money invested. I spent like 160 ish and I made over like 700 bucks. So the time invested, it was good because I made some money off of it, but it would have been better spent working a second job, even minimum wage, because it would have been more money than what it would have made. Anyways, the, the second thing I want to talk about is I saw something last night that made me really mad. Uh, apparently a week ago, Nintendo unveiled a new 3DS. It's the 3DS XL. And two weeks ago, I just bought a 3DS. And I just saw the 3DS XL last night. I'm like, wow, I'm pretty pissed off. Because, of course, I just spent like 180 bucks on a 3DS. And now they're coming out with a new one, which has like so many more things for $20 more. All right, check this out. I I'll post a link down below to the articles and stuff like that. But uh, basically... It has 90% bigger screens. The stylus loads from the right side instead of the back. And the right side is something people want have wanted for a while because a lot of people are right-handed, so pulling the stylus out from the right is better. But I'm actually left-handed, so the stylus coming out from the left from the original DS Lite was a lot better for me, but whatever. The uh, 3D indicator isn't green. It's just like the shaded gray, like indented in the, like, what's, what is it, the case or whatever, or like the mold. So uh, that's always pretty good. I thought the green 3D light was kind of annoying. The select home and start buttons are like, they're actually real buttons, not like hidden underneath the little flap that you just press. The screen is pretty much the same size as the PlayStation Vita. And um, that's kind of what I would like to see. But I'm not sure about the pixel density of the screen. Also, the speakers have double the holes, so maybe the clarity is better. But anyways, I saw this 3DS and all these cool features. It's kind of like a hardware rehash. And I was like, dude, man, I would, I would have, I would rather have this than, you know, the one I have now. So I called up the GameStop, and I'm like, hey, uh, for for those of you who uh, don't live in the U.S. or don't know what a GameStop is, it's basically a chain of retail stores that sell video games and stuff like that. Anyways, that's where I bought my 3DS, and I asked them like, hey, uh, what's your return policy on, on the 3DS that I just bought? He's like, well, is it opened? I'm like, yeah. Well, then we can't issue you a full refund. The only thing we can do is swap it out for a new one. And I'm like, okay, is there anything else that, that you can do? He's like, uh, well, you can trade it in. I'm like, no, no way, because they're going to give me like 60 bucks if I traded it in, so there's no way. I mean, that's how GameStop makes a lot of their money. They, they buy stuff for a third of the price and sell it at full. I mean, that's just basic business tactics. So anyways, I'm like, whatever. Then um, I had a good idea that I did before I exploded the system, and... Basically, I went back to GameStop, I swapped it for a new one, I said I wanted a new color, I got a red one. Then I went to Walmart. For those of you who don't know, Walmart's like a super center. I mean, people overseas, like in the Eastern Hemisphere, probably don't know what it is, but yeah, it's just a giant super center that sells everything, and their return policy is a lot better. Like, if you don't have a receipt, then you can just take stuff back and they'll scan it and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty awesome. But anyways, I took the 3DS there, I'm like, hey, I'd like to return this, so they're like, well, you, you don't have a receipt? I'm like, no. So they took the 3DS and they put in like the serial code and they're like, yeah, this isn't in our system. We, we can't take this back. I'm like, oh, damn it. Like, ah, that just ruined my whole day. So I went to the other Walmart on the other end of town and I, I asked them if they would like take it back because those people on the other end of town are actually nice. You know, they're, they're not like douchebags about it, but yeah, they're like, nah, sorry, we can't take it back. If you had the receipt, we could though. I'm like, no, I don't have the receipt. So whatever. And I'm like, damn it. I'm stuck with this 3DS that I've don't want because a 3ds xl is coming out so then um i'm like wow i might have to sell this online but i decided to call up gamestop again and i'm like hey i'm in a little situation here i traded in the or i bought a 3ds i, I had opened it to see if it worked but then i traded it back for a new one so is it possible i can take this new one back it's still sealed is it possible i can take it back and get like store credit or something and buy something else and then 
the guy's like, so it's unopened and you, you have the receipt, right? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, we can do that. Like, what? That just blew me away because why didn't you tell me that I can just return the open 3DS in the first place and, you know, get store credit that way when, like, these guys told me the only thing I could do was swap it for a new one. So why couldn't we just cut the whole swap for a new one, go to another store, or return it or whatever? Why couldn't we just save all that effort and you just give me, like, the GameStop credit there? So, I mean, that, that just really made me mad <laughs> because... These guys tell me that they can't do anything about it and they can give me a new one, but they can't give me like store credit. And then after I call them, after I swap it back for a new one, now it's sealed. Now they can give me store credit. I mean, does anyone else see the fault here? That really made me mad. But anyways, so I end up getting my gift card and it's like 180 bucks. So I'm going to wait till the new 3DS XL drops. And uh, it's like in the US, it drops August 19th, but for... Japan and Europe, I think, it drops a month earlier, so I'm going to have to wait until August 19th, but that's fine. I still have a bunch of PS3 games to finish up. I, I like the 3DS, but just the new one coming out, the 3DS XL, I think it's just so much better. Oh, another thing that people were, like, kind of angry about is the uh, circle pad. They have this peripheral. It's like a circle pad on the right. It's like a right analog stick. Only five games or so use it right now. But people were like, hey, this uh, 3DS XL, there's enough space for a right analog stick. Why didn't they put it in? But, I mean, obviously, they're they're going to come out with a new 3DS with the right analog stick. But, I mean, it doesn't really matter because they're probably going to make another peripheral that extends battery life and adds the circle pad on the right. So, I mean, I don't know. It just doesn't matter. But I knew something was fishy when I bought the 3DS. And, like, oh, you can have a free game and you can have this uh, double your life battery pack thing. I knew something was fishy because... They won't offer that stuff to you unless, like, a new version is coming out because they have to get get rid of their current stock to get new stuff in. You know, same with the Vita. A while ago, they just um, offered, like, a $50 gift card if you bought a Vita. Hint, hint, they're going to come out with, like, a bundle pack soon and lower the price. But anyways, this video came to a close. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you think about Warhawk or, I don't know, what your opinion is on, I don't know, 3DS, Vita, video games. I don't know. I could talk video games all day, you know. Uh, I don't know. I guess that's it. So thank you all for listening. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff. I'd be happy to do more commentaries if you guys would like to hear them or whatever. But I don't know what to put in the background. Pocket Summoner fights aren't that great. Oh, I guess I still need to do a uh, a video on that one Pegasus transformation. I could do that if you guys want to see that. And I can do another commentary. But up to you guys. Let me know. And I'll catch you all later. Thank you for watching.